Watchdog group Accuracy in Media releases an action alert calling on news outlets to use the term riot. This comes as riots continue in Democrat-run cities across the nation. Well, here to discuss this further is Accuracy in Media President Adam Gillette. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thank you so very much for having me. Absolutely. So before we get to the action alert, Accuracy in Media was founded back in 1969. Tell us more about the organization. Sure, we're one of the oldest organizations in the freedom movement. We use a combination of activism and investigative journalism to hold not only the media, but politicians accountable. We do the job that real journalists should do, but won't anymore. So you say that this action alert encourages ordinary Americans to hold their news outlets accountable. But how does this alert work in helping them call out news outlets? Sure. On our website, AIM.org, we have an action alert right now where you can send one message that goes to over 50 editors, news editors, managing editors, from CNN to the New York Times to the Washington Post. And we want to find out from them, one, why won't you define cities being burned down as a riot? When even the local law enforcement calls it a riot, why won't you use the term riot? And then it's important to understand these new news outlets have detailed style of guide, uh, guides where they go over every word and define when to use this word, when to use that word. What does their style guide say about the term riot? Are they ignoring their own style guide merely because they don't want to have bad publicity for a movement they support? So we want to demand from the media, tell us if this isn't a riot, what is? And to your point, when news outlets such as CNN uses the headline fiery but peaceful instead of riot, how does this shape rhetoric and the media's messaging to Americans watching? Well, I think what they think it does is downplays the terrible violence in cities like Portland. What it does in reality is creates tremendous distrust of the media, or I should say, increases the already existing distrust of the media. Because should I believe that reporter or my own lying eyes? I mean, it's become a parody. Fiery but peaceful protest. Unreal. And you released a video last month about how large media companies are pressuring Congress to change the rules of the Paycheck Protection Program. Tell us more about how this snowballed into a bailout. If for months now, we've been battling a mainstream media bailout, large media companies and their high-powered lobbyists pressured Congress and got bipartisan majorities to sign off on a bailout for the media, which is outrageous. And shockingly, you're not hearing a whole lot of people to talk about it. Uh, now, initially, we defeated them. We blocked the bailout. They backed up, pivoted, and their new plan is to get Congress to change the rules of the payroll protection program so that large media companies, not small businesses, large media companies like McClatchy, which owns dozens of left-wing daily newspapers around America, McClatchy, which filed for bankruptcy before any of us had ever heard of COVID. They're trying to change the payroll protection rules to get the media, uh, large media companies eligible so that they can take your tax dollars. We did a whitehouse.gov petition, got tens of thousands of signatures and delivered them to Mitch McConnell's office in Louisville, Kentucky, because at this point, He's the only one who can stop it. If a stimulus gets to Trump's desk, he's going to sign it. He'll all already have made whatever deal. Republicans have backed down because they're scared of the media. Mitch McConnell's the only one who can stop it. And also at our website, aim.org, you could send a message to Mitch McConnell and tell him you don't want your tax dollars going to failing media companies that hate your ideological beliefs, that hate freedom. You want your tax dollars going anywhere about that. And originally it was supposed to be for small newspapers, just kind of uh, similar to the airline industry where they needed help. But now it's turned into, again, the snow, the snowballed into a bailout. Again, for our viewers watching at home, it's aim.org. You can see that on the bottom of your screen. Adam Gillette, again, the president of Accuracy in Media. Thank you again for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.